good actually in here. Well, we stay at the marina, so the there wasn't too much. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Now we left the marina about an, half an hour ago. We are reaching the first dive site, reef. After that, there will be around 20 other dives, including wrecks and night dives, which is pretty cool. We already done and once. sharks. I, what I tell him and our dive monster buddy and everyone on the boat is I just uh, I will hide behind someone. They're prepared. <laughs> But an interesting something bit me. An interesting thing. We're gonna take the night trucks. Course. Course. Another course. Yeah, because uh, one of the dives. It's a really known dive in here on the Red Sea. It's a wreck, and the dive is entirely just diving inside the ship. the ship. So you you need the night rocks to do that because the ship is sank at thirty meters uh, between twenty four and thirty. The 20, 24 meters is like the top of the ship, and the bottom is on thirty meters. So you need night rocks to do that. Otherwise, you, don't, you can't see it. Yeah, you don't need it. You just need it to be there more time. I no, you can't. Stopping. You can't just. You don't have time to see the entire ship. Yeah, that's on, that's what you're saying. You can do like 10 minutes. Oh, there's a ship. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Well, from the hotel superior that we checked in yesterday, it has really good conditions. The food so far has been amazing. Yeah, the food is amazing. They have like snacks all the day long. They have fruit, cookies, cakes. You have drinks. You have ships. Not ships. Chips. <laughs> Imagine ships inside the ship. <laughs> uh, so probably cookies or cakes you won't eat if you're a vegan. But you have like a huge basket of different foods. Fruit. You have. I said fruits. Oh, okay. You you have a good variety of food. Okay, we're definitely stopping. So they're gonna ring a bell. When they ring the bell, we come up. Yeah, and... So first dive, it's gonna be a reef, right? Yeah. Um, one of us told us that last year, they came here and they saw a huge anemone, like the size of a big table. Imagine that. Okay, let's go. dive with my trucks which means we passed on our exam what <laughs> well we did a reef dive in the morning then we had lunch we started to do uh, to read the book we saw the introduction video about the cars and then we went on the second dive which was on the on the wreck, uh, the Salon Express. Yeah. A really big ship that's completely. It's on its side and it's completely. Um, basically, it's. Yeah. Aside part, I had problems with my buoyancy and I gathered some. Uh, 
tips. tips and tricks and not just with the buoyancy but that was my problem I was never terrible at swimming underwater but what happened to me is I go like this and my legs went a little bit down and if I put just a tiny bit of air my whole body would come up like this and to the, sur to the surface so the problem was my weights weren't correct and now I am swimming with a totally different technique and the frog technique the frog technique and it was buddy from Imperial Divers who helped me with that and I don't know maybe if you have problems with uh, diving and you need some tips and tricks we can do a video on that like extend it more because we gathered lots of information and it was really really helpful for me so think about it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we're doing lots of things yeah we we're doing our part you have to do yours subscribe put a like down below and you might get the treat of the tips and tricks on diving okay see you at dinner I think that explains everything for the briefing. Let's go. <laughs> Day three, we are tired, we already have seven dives, today we got more, four more planned, it's almost 6 a.m., we're about to go to the briefing for the morning dive before breakfast, and then we're going to the health thing, the health thing was, I'm gonna put it down here, it's one of the most famous spots to dive in Red Sea and in the world, right? She's still asleep. It's not asleep, I'm not the last sleep I had for a week. Are you tired? No, because I had a good night of sleep, I just... I feel tired. And are you happy? Do you recommend this trip? I do, uh, and I will or advice if you can just work on your buoyancy because on wrecks on these wrecks you have lots of soft coral and you really want to be able to just stay in place to watch like the clown fishes on the anemones watch any kind of fish the lion fishes or usually hiding on the corals so if you can just work on that because this way you can just look at them for a while or even take a photo or record it without destroying it no without destroying it yeah don't 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 touch it don't touch it <laughs> okay let's go for the briefing <laughs> Finish. 
our breakfast and our first dive and now we're heading to Tisselgarn uh, probably I would even say close to the getting the name right but we're getting there that's that's all that matters so about the breakfast if you're going to do a dive after breakfast make sure you eat the right things if you don't want to get your tummy hurt <laughs> I mean you need of course you need some carbs especially if you're doing the entire day dives like we are but choose the correct amount of vitamins protein just balance it out and don't eat too much you want to just eat like a few amounts uh, huh? small amounts through the day and not just like a big breakfast and then a big lunch just small amounts if you get hungry in the middle of the, of the morning you eat another thing like fruit or some nuts they're really nice or stuff just do like it like that. me and put stuff on the plate and go I, lo I looked at it. his fork and he had pancake on the top of the fork and on the bottom he had fried potatoes nice and I think the pancake had Nutella too so pancake with Nutella and fried potatoes yeah. all at once look at the view Really good. It has some nuts and raisins. It's good. And we did already two dives. 